For 20-year-old Togolese girl Suya, Chinese language and culture were once mysterious and complicated. But by learning Chinese for years, she's fallen in love with traditional Chinese culture and has become a star employee in the local Chinese company, China Railway Shisiju Group Corporation Togo. Bonjour à tous, je m'appelle Abdullah Soumayatou. J'ai étudié la langue chinoise à l'université de Lomé, précisément à l'Institut Confucius. Au départ, pour moi, la langue chinoise était un art complexe et intéressant. Donc, j'ai eu un intérêt d'apprentissage pour cette langue. Mais avec de plus en plus de compréhension et d'apprentissage, j'ai commencé par aimer cette langue. Pour moi, la motivation qui m'a toujours soutenu pour continuer, grâce à la langue chinoise, j'ai j'ai eu beaucoup d'amis chinois et j'ai eu beaucoup d'opportunités d'emploi. Grâce à la langue chinoise, je vois le monde plus grand. Pour moi, la culture traditionnelle chinoise est profonde et colorée, ce qui reflète non seulement l'histoire de la Chine depuis 5000 ans, mais aussi la civilisation de la Chine. J'aime beaucoup la culture traditionnelle chinoise et j'ai eu l'occasion d'apprendre le Kung Fu chinois à l'Institut Confucius. J'aimerais à l'avenir apprendre la calligraphie chinoise et les instruments de musique chinois si j'ai l'opportunité. J'espère aussi pouvoir un jour aller en, en Chine pour découvrir la culture traditionnelle chinoise. Like Togolese girl Suya, many people across the world are increasingly fascinated by the Chinese culture. As fluent Chinese speakers, some have even turned into culture ambassadors of their own countries on the global stage. 虽然说我们每一个人都说着不同的语言，都信仰着不同的宗教，同时呢，我们国家的这个文化背景也不一样，但是我们通过中文能够进行交流，而且我们交流的不只是自己的一些看法意见，我们作为自己祖国的这个文化使者，开眼，然后看到这个世界，感到非常的骄傲和自豪。呃，我觉得这个算是求同存异吧，算是一个交友可以达到的最最高的一个效果吧。Tens of thousands of students passed through our language programs. Hundreds of thousands of people came through our cultural projects in the last ten years, and I think we helped bring Chinese culture to Croatia, but also bring, you know, build bridges between Croatia and China in many areas. En España hoy en día hay mucho más oportunidades de conocer esta, estas diversas formas de cultura tradicional y alguna contemporánea, aunque sería muy interesante poder conocer todavía más nuevas formas de expresión. Across the globe, people have seen the crucial importance of cultural exchanges, calling for respecting cultural diversity and strengthening exchanges between civilizations as the world faces conflicts and uncertainty. Chinese culture is one of the most fascinating to me. You know very well that um, civilization is something that actually comes over time and affects everybody who is there. And therefore, exchange of civilizations is something that should be promoted. Fortunately, it is already happening. If you just relaxed, worked together in harmony, we could solve many of the world's problems. All the problems of hunger and misery and climate and disease and so on. If the different great civilizations got together to work on those problems in harmony, much of that could be eliminated. It is timely to promote these exchanges, ensure harmonious and core existence in the world that is currently riddled with prejudices and division at many different levels. So I believe that it is important, therefore, to create platforms that will bridge and serve as catalyst to bring people together to come to a realization that despite our cultural dif differences, it is very important to embrace the interconnectedness of humanity because at the end of the day, we have to share this planet called Earth.